What's up, what's up, guys? This is Jai for another episode of Beer with Friends. We have a new location today, and uh, that's why we're going live. we also got some recordings, so y'all will be able to catch that on YouTube. But before we dive into the guests, I want to go ahead and shout out some of these beers we have today. We got a, a surplus because we got a two-parter today. So for the first hour with the ladies, I'm going to go ahead and tap into my Mosaic Double IPA. Uh, coming directly from Belching Beaver. Excited about that. You should try it out. It's pretty nice. Uh, what do y'all have? Right now I'm starting out with the, we are starting out with Sarah and I, the Sabertooth Squirrel. Hoppy Amber Ale, Smog City. I dig it. Also delicious. And it's got a great cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Um, I got Shiner Bach. Hey! Hey! Bring it it's back Texas, home to just Texas. Just like me. Yeah. I love nice, Shiner. Nice choice. No, yeah. this is actually from near my hometown. Really? Yeah. What part? Um, I, I live in Columbus, Texas. It's between Austin and Houston. Yep. You know. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm from San Antonio. Oh, okay. So you've driven through Columbus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I would love to get everyone to introduce themselves since we're here. And, uh, and this is art department, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about how you, what you see on TV becomes that. And this is... These are the people that do this. So, uh, first up, what's up, Sarah? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah. I do what? Well, you said, you said what's up, Sarah? <laughs> I don't do this often. You got this. Uh, <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for having cheers. me. Cheers. 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 Oh, cheers. Got it. Extended. Assistant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm Sarah Larson. I'm a production designer, slash art director, um, and muralist as well. Dope. Yeah. Dope, dope, dope. That's a pass. Oh, it's for me now? Yeah. Um, I'm Amanda. <laughs> um, I'm a production designer. I'm doing set deck with Marlena, who is an amazing production designer, too. Um, yeah. I don't know. I do all things art department. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, and, I, and, and basically uh, AFI as well. Oh, yeah. Did you go to AFI? No. no. Oh, but you did. Yeah. Oh, really? Producing program. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I went to AFI. Um, I'm a production designer, art director, too. Yeah. Um, I, and yeah. I, I dig it. Marlena Fury. Yeah. Perfect. perfect. <laughs> Everyone knows now. Y'all can check them out, see some of their work. You need to hire them. They're available. You can either reach them through Beer Run or you can reach out directly. Fantastic. I want to know how everything began. Because, like, I, my last art class was sixth grade. <laughs> about... When when you get started in art, was it like finger painting? Was it? Um, I did theater. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, theater I've, first. Uh, I have a, like a family of artists. Uh, arts were really you know big in my family. Um, a couple of aunts are like professional artists. Oh wow, cool. And uh, so I just kind of grew up in that, and I did music and theater and art and stuff in school, um, and then got a theater degree at uh, Tulane University in New Orleans. Oh, cool. Yeah, and yeah. then I always kind of knew I wanted to go into film, um, but theater was sort of like the most, you know, except the, what we had at the Accessible. time. Accessible, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I love theater, and, you know, it teaches you, like, a really great work ethic. Um, yeah. And how to work with others, and how to do stuff under pressure. Yep, yep, And yep. Um, how to design, like, is that's just, designing anything is, like, a, a skill you have to learn. 100%. Um, so yeah, and then uh, after that, I decided I needed to um, focus on on film, yeah. you know. So I went to AFI. Yeah, I got a yeah. my artist journey when I got mm -hmm. to LA was LACC's Theater Academy. Oh, cool. So we went through there, yeah. and the first year, no one's allowed to act. They mm -hmm. want you to learn the foundation. So nice. we worked in costume one semester. You work in set mm -hmm. set design on the other semester, and then you get to act on your second year. Right. So it was, it was really great to have that transition yeah. into that world, uh, especially because I got out the Navy and then went straight to theater. So it was <laughs> cool. conflicting, but uh, yeah. worked out. And that's worked nice out. that they do that with um, AFI too. Like they make yeah. you build a set. A hundred percent. The first thing you do, like everybody at AFI, even the writers and, you know, everybody. Yeah. So. You, you had a little different path than uh, the, the school journey. Yours is... Yeah, more... Um, kind of stumbled into it-ish. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so I had been an artist basically my whole life, loving drawing in my pastime, um, won awards in high school, 
and uh, and then dropped it for a long time. It kind of got a little bit like overwhelming, you know, with like all this expectation, and I was just like, nah, it became less fun. So I went on a international excursion, <laughs> right? Yeah, I traveled the world <laughs> full time for like five years, living out of my backpack, and I took up doing murals then because I found out in hostels you could exchange painting murals for a bunch of them um, for accommodation and yeah. I was like you know pennying it yeah. <laughs> living, that's cool, though. living off a dime and so that's kind of what got me back into art in the art world again re fell in love with it and moved to LA kind of just randomly thinking I was gonna hate it <laughs> Uh, and ended up loving it because there's just so many like-minded, creative people here. Yeah. And you can just get along with well. well I met you your second month here? No. I had been here a year at, okay. at that point. You but just I hadn't had, found the faculty yet? No, I hadn't found the faculty. That's faculty what we meant. It's like cheers. You know, I hate <laughs> that uh, because like of cheers. the pandemic. It uh, closed down. The bar down. faculty? It's called the faculty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I right know. across the street from LACC. Oh, yeah. In a heliotrope, Melrose area. But like I, like I said, they closed down. But it was like the spot. Yeah. But yeah, we met. She told me about that. And I was like, cool, I'm making films. I need an art director. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Came well, on. well, before that, I had gotten like one connection from uh, someone I was nannying for. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. she would constantly be like, she knew I was an artist. I would color and draw with the kids. They loved me uh, drawing them dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And she's like, have you thought about animation? And I had. And I was like, I don't like the thought of sitting in a cubicle all day. Just like, <laughs> you know, yeah. didn't appeal to me. Um, and then one day she's like, why, do, why not art department? And I was already like making entire scenes, like made a whole Jurassic Park scene. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> For the kids and everything yeah. in the living room. And she was like, what? Do this. <laughs> and I had never even thought about it as a possibility. I was like, art department that's, it's one of those <laughs> things like unless you know then you just kind of find out like oh i could do this yeah. i don't know was, how was your experience coming up with that um i was graduating college i graduated i was studying photography i spent um many hours and i don't know felt like years in the dark room under the ominous red light um, I graduated school and I ran into some people that asked me to be in a music video. I was like, who's this? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it was on Facebook and I was like, yeah. uh, creepy. I don't know. I was like, who? And, I, and then I looked into it and it was like, oh, they've done interviews with Lady Gaga and they did a music video with Twista. Like, yeah. this is like a legit, how did they find me? Yeah. You know? Um, and so I kind of asked, I was like, can I shadow? I want to see what like your video production is all about. And I know in college they had like video production departments and stuff. And I just was so engulfed in whatever I was doing in like, um, fine arts world. No. Um, I didn't really check it out. And, um, yeah, then people asked me, they were like, it seems like you have a lot of really cool friends. Can you help cast for our next music video? No. Um, and I got a bunch of my cool looking friends involved. Yeah. And, um, and then they were like, oh, it seems like you know a lot of people. And I started finding locations for things. And I... Um, uh, you do know a lot of people. I do know. <laughs> <laughs> I got like more friends than anybody. I mean, I love <laughs> my, my people. Yeah. And, and like, and so I, you know, I, I wanted to make art and I, I loved this. I, I remember when I was graduating college, my professors like had this big speech to me that like, oh, you're going to be a lonely artist and the craft is going to be so lonely <laughs> and you just have to like keep going. Oh, That's such and, bullshit. And, and it was like, I found this like, um, Someone form, else's experience. Yeah. Like, well, just production, like being like this collaborative thing. And, and, um, uh, one of the third music videos I worked on, they were like, oh, it's an eighties style. Like, can you find all the props? Can you set dress? I didn't know that these were actual terms yeah. and like, like jobs. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I was doing all of it. <laughs> and, and then they were like, oh, you're the production designer. And I'm like, what the fuck What's is that? that? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what that is, yeah. you know? Like, I, I didn't even know what a producer was. And yeah. that was, like, 12 years ago. And then when I moved to New York, like, 10 years ago, or no, nine years, I don't know how long. I, I've Time is 
<laughs> and, um, <laughs> and people started hiring me um just word of mouth yeah and i figured it out and then i started working with other production designers that were fabricating and doing like big builds and things that i had no idea how to do and yeah. like moving flats in and i and and then i figured out how to do it myself yeah and that's kind of how you did the, it more the, the journey, yeah. than I did. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it, it's interesting coming from the producing side, right? Like, first of all, one of the most thankless jobs. But oh, yeah. it's, it, you need someone to put everything together, you know? And I, I think my skill set as a producer, what I was able to hone into, because it's like everything needs to be produced, you know? So technically, you need to know a little bit about everything so you right can on. communicate clearly and concisively with your team. You know, so uh, fortunately, from the military, I was able to put teams together really well. So uh, every set, right, that we've been on? Yeah. It's been pretty sharp. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I dig definitely. it. Definitely. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the art department was one of the most confusing mm-hmm. because there are so many positions. There are so many positions and a lot to done. Want to go through them? Because I don't think they know. What it's production designer, oh my art gosh. director, mm-hmm. and then there's. It, it depends on the set size deck, of the. Props. Yeah. Yeah. I then mean, you, we could go through like every single position that exists. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, then There's you get the builds, right? So you get carpenters there. You uh-huh. get you get cement if you got a place. Well, cement. then we got to start talking about Green. like props and set deck being two separate departments yeah. and the art department being a separate third department. Yeah. Interesting. If you're oh, yeah. See that? Yeah. I know. <laughs> that's, that's why you hire uh, a production designer, and then they mm-hmm. put their team together. And then, yes. tell, and then they tell you, no, like, that's not how you do it. Yeah. It's like this. Oh, man. Um, yeah. So um, what to date has been your favorite project that you worked on? Or opportunity that came your way or something that was like, oh, wow, okay. My favorite. Okay, so I don't know, I guess because I've been talking about it a lot recently, but um, The Wretched was my favorite movie that I've designed, mm-hmm. and it's, uh, I do a lot of low-budget horror. Okay. Um, maybe like 50%, I guess, if I was breaking out the genres. Um, and, uh, and that's a movie that was like a non-union movie. It was, they wanted to shoot it in Michigan, so mm-hmm. we had to bring up uh, you know, a lot of people from LA yeah. and, and, or anywhere else. And I happen to have like an amazing crew that um, I I kind of do all of my like non L A movies with, yeah. and they live in uh, in Mississippi, Louisiana, Georgia, like just kind of I just kind of picked them up from different places. Yeah, and, and they're and eager. It's like, well, you got to travel people in anyway, so it doesn't matter where they come from. Yep. And and yeah, and so um, and we get a lot of experience together, and it just it's great. So we all went out to Michigan and, and did this movie, and we built uh, we built a cave. And um, we built a cave. We built a fun. cave set. <laughs> I met, I met my the first cave, cave builder. <laughs> yeah. yeah, last night. That's right. And yeah, because he was from. So the the set was. Um, I made like a like a model out of um, out of clay, uh-huh. like to scale, <laughs> like a three dimensional <laughs> model of the cave. Because I was like, I don't know how to draw this. Like, how do you yeah. tell some? How do you tell a builder like how to draw, how to build a cave yeah. it's like without like just gesturing like this all the time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know it's like about like this and then yeah. there's like things down here and that's called arm waving we don't want to do that yeah too much <laughs> um so i so i made like a clay model and i was like here you go and he looked at me like i was an idiot yeah. um <laughs> but then he did it and he referenced that model and he built it in his backyard in like sections that could be broken apart and and put back together put on a truck the truck drove to michigan we unloaded the truck uh there's a lot of drama in between um <laughs> we unloaded Always. the truck and built it inside of this like auto shop it was like abandoned auto shop in tiny town in michigan and um and and robert the the caveman um <laughs> I was like, what we call Robert. He, he, we uh, we met Robert and that for the first time because I got him through my construction coordinator, mm-hmm. and he came out to like put the cave back together, and um, anyways, uh, and then we spent a lot of time with it after that, making it, you know, finishing it off, oh, and cool. um, 
And it was only, we shot it for like a day. Yeah. Out of, you know, 21 to 22 days. Oh, okay. That's then, one of the most wildest things to me still. I know, always. Yeah. <laughs> it's you like spend the so much time scene. on the, on the on thing. On one thing. <laughs> and then they're like, just, okay, cool. Let's, we did that. All right. Moving on. Yeah. And then throw it all in the dumpster. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, movies. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that's great foam. Yeah. I couldn't answer. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you had you had the whole thing with the Vegas thing with your plan, your idea. Oh, yes. Well, that uh, is not film related, but it was uh, art. art directing. And, you know, that's not, it's not dead. <laughs> it's not dead. Good. <laughs> it's definitely not dead. Um, yeah, I would have to agree. This is the be best thing I've worked on. It was a personal project for an immersive... Um, interactive space similar to Meow Wolf that was kind of the uh, business plan that we we're working off of and I had business partners and had a whole story written out um, and a 25,000 square foot building and working with one of the top architects uh, in Vegas because that's where I was going to be and we had it all plotted we were just getting ready to um, not necessarily break ground, but get the permitting for the the space. The space, you know, make yeah. sure everything's fire code, all the logistics, <laughs> and we had that all on the on the plans. And then COVID hit. <laughs> yeah, wow. good yeah. old yes. COVID. <laughs> right. I can't wait to see when that's done, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, we lost we lost our major investors because uh, they bailed immediately the second mm. the pandemic was announced. Like no one's going to be putting millions into an interactive, touching, enclosed space at yeah. the start of a pandemic. And then there's just been a lot of personal things that's come up between my business partners and myself and the creative grind. Yep. Yeah, and so we're actually we're looking for investors. <laughs> we have a fully <laughs> plotted out, beautiful idea. The building we were working with is actually still empty. Last I checked, um, we didn't lose money because our landlord had to buy out of the contract, which mm. he did in panic. So Interesting. he's a great, great guy himself. Mm, business So it's like there's, it, there's potential. It's not dead. <laughs> it's just Folks been, in Vegas, just saying. Doesn't options. have invest in the arts. There it is. Yeah, it is. anybody in the world can invest into this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, email me for details. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda. Ooh, favorites. I hate picking favorites. When people ask me my favorite color, I'm like, really? <laughs> I or, don't know. Or most interesting experience, you know, type of situation. Most memorable? Mm, they're all memorable. And they're <laughs> all, they all have their own stink, you know? Yeah, um, no, totally understand that. Uh, I don't know. I've worked with, like, really interesting artists and... Um, I, I just can't think of it right now. I get that question almost every time someone hears that I'm from production, and I can't answer it. Do, do you have a, a favorite type of set to build, like a certain thing? Do you like doing sci-fi sets? Is Haven't figured that out yet. Um, I mean, I started in commercial work. Okay. So um, this is my sixth feature. Okay. Um, I feel like that's like relatively new and I'm also like, I'm set that you're currently working on. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm set ducking this. The first feature I did, I was casting, uh, yeah. was weird, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the casting director. Um, it's but, like picking props, but people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Um, that talk. <laughs> yep. Yep. And, and they've all been different. You know, I, I do like narrative work. Mm -hmm. Um, it just feels like there's a little more meaning in it. Um, yeah. Cool. I think that. I just don't have an answer for that. Sorry. No, no, no. Totally. Skip. My, my first major production, and I was still at like just KPA level at most, and it was a uh, Red Man's music video, Dope Man. And <laughs> they turned this entire alley into a Red Man world. You know, so they had the stunt guy falling off the roof. You know, they had, obviously, the spray paint on the wall, which we had to get the artist who painted it for Red Band. Um, and then we had 
to kind of put everything together. And it was a, it was a crazy shoot. It was a crazy shoot for production reasons. And I'm going to leave it at that. Mm-hmm. But the art department was amazing in what they were able to do with so little material to really kind of just build the whole world up, the boxes. You can actually see it on uh, YouTube, Red Man Dope Man. Check it out. And, uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so what are some of the goals? I want to I wanna hear like what's the stages. Obviously, it's just definitely booking gigs, but with, get within out the of career low budget. <laughs> yes, get out of low budget. Yeah. <laughs> Start making money someday. Right. <laughs> that's, 100%. That's, that's really wild because I understand. I would like people to listen to me. <laughs> Please save me if you, if you can hear this. <laughs> you can hear me. <laughs> I know, hear me, but you might not listen. Yeah. No, it's, it, it's really... A thing. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. You know, you take what you have and you try to make the best out of it, right? And mm-hmm. um, and I know art department <laughs> gets so frustrated. Like, how much do we have? <laughs> oh, people don't understand how much it costs to make things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like, like, like even just to paint a wall. I'm like, do you know how much paint costs? Yep. That's <laughs> people don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then yeah. on the production side, it's like, can we do this? Can we do this? Yeah. Can we do this? I get confused sometimes because I've had a few projects where. People like don't. I'm like, how much do you have to spend? And nobody gives me a number, but they'll give me everyone's rates, which are like <laughs> lower than they should be. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah, and and then I'm like, well, what's my budget for? And and even people underneath me are like, what's our budget? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna spend yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just gonna get whatever money. I want. And yeah. and no one. Yeah. And a lot of times people haven't like put a cap on it or they'll be like, Oh, we got to stop spending. We got to stop spending. And, and that's when I know, but like, um, yeah. I've had a few projects like that and I'm like, Oh, so you can just spend a million dollars or whatever you want on things, and then like, but no. not people <laughs> putting the things in place. I've witnessed and you're that. also mm-hmm. not giving me enough staff. Or like people part. to help me, mm-hmm. and and I'm like looking like a stumbling idiot in front of everyone <laughs> trying to get this in order. Like and everyone's waiting on on. It's like why is art taking so? Or and pre-production, yeah. nobody like thinks about pre-production, like how much time it takes to like for ideas to happen yep. and to find what you need and get it. Like yep. I don't know. That's <laughs> my take. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> I think I think that's great. I love that take because that that is what pro- literally if you're an attentive producer. You are paying attention to everything, right? You're paying attention not only because if you treat your human resources, and <laughs> if you treat your human resources in a way that they don't feel treated like humans, it's not going to help the project and the outcome. Mm-hmm. You know, it's almost better to just make sure that everything's where it needs to be before you pull the trigger, which is why we call it pre-production. Mm-hmm. You know, and all that the pre-production is after the development. So the development needs to be in thought as well with the moving process. And normally, normally art department is not going to be part of the development until you put the team together to talk about the general idea. (laughs) I feel like art department is like a last, a, a thing that people think of last and they call you like one week before the project yeah. or I don't know yeah. if it's a, a two month project or a one month project, they call you, I don't know, maybe a few weeks before mm. I, they just call you last, which minute. is wild. They don't the, know what they want until it's, then. It's until the, the last you minute. Minute. And, and suddenly <laughs> yeah. your brain is supposed to whip into shape <laughs> and like pull all, like, all these things out of what our, do we, what do we say to that person when we call them on, when we finally have them on the phone? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like they just don't know. So that's why they call you like the week before. Yeah, because like, that's when they've decided. They want like, custom-made things with <laughs> yeah. impossible time frames. Right. Like, this right. neon sign that specifically says this thing that's mm-hmm. completely custom. <laughs> yeah. You have to get it shipped here in five days. I'm like what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. My, uh, my they need, also need development time too. Yeah. yeah. Right. You're not the only person that needs development time. <laughs> my AFI uh, thesis needed. Um, antlers and and dead animals and i was just like what and then how and then you go into the taxidermy and you're like how much is this goat 
Right. And you're in LA, and so it, it's like a million dollars. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's yeah. one million dollars. Right, exactly. So you I know. guess I'm going to rent it. Oh, it's still like oh. 500. Gosh, how, long do I, how long do I get it for? Gosh. One hour. Right. Yes. And <laughs> you have to just, return just, this afternoon. The, like, that's one thing I did like about the program. It really mm -hmm. puts you hand in hand with your, with your running team. Yeah. You know, and because yeah. uh, I never, I, I, I was ignorant to what mm -hmm. art department even did. I'm like, I, I mm -hmm. don't have any interest. I'm like, okay. I just know they're important, <laughs> you know, so, and, uh, but yeah, I, I don't get it. That actually brings up another question. Um, being women moving through the industry and having to deal with certain aspects in a very male dominated area of stuff, um, just how, how that navigating that feels or, or going through that. Yeah. Being the only woman on the pass van, on the yeah. tech scout. Yeah. Yeah. That's me on like every project. Yeah. I don't know. Constantly surprised that I know how to use power tools. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Constantly surprised. Yeah. I, yeah. There's a certain question um, where agency people, especially in com commercial world, um, I didn't even realize it in the beginning of working in the industry. What's it like? You're the only woman. And I didn't realize it. Yeah. <laughs> You're just moving through. Yeah. Your... Yeah. I actually didn't realize that I was working with all these men. Mm -hmm. Right. Is, is that weird of me? Like, how do you no. ladies feel? I, um, I don't... I, it, it's, like, I it doesn't there's really a lot of become, women as well, but... There are, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't... Well, now, I'm You don't really notice like it until you're in the pass van with uh, all of them, and then you're like, huh. <laughs> Bunch of beards. This is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't yeah. been doing it that long, so I... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of younger women coming up in it. I think it was like five years ago and this chick pointed out to me and she was like, you're the only woman here. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, huh. yeah. What's, Good on you. What Trailblazing. It's, what it's like is, is like, and I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell if it's, if it's because it's a woman thing or it's because it's a production designer art department thing mm -hmm. too, because you're like, oh, well, we always get raked over, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, like... I'm often like the first person voicing like the, um, like, wait a minute, like this is actually more complicated than it looks. Yeah. And everyone's like, okay, right. Like, mm. The wave off. Yeah. We'll, we'll, Y'all will figure it out. Um, oh, that's, that's interesting. But then like just kind of letting it, n not like, not like snapping into action. Yeah. And then, and then a man will say the same thing, like a, but it's, but that man is usually like a DP. Mm. Or like a producer mm -hmm. or someone that's like maybe a little bit has more influence already. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to tell if it's like it's cause of if it's cause of the gender. Yeah. Or like maybe I or maybe it is. I don't know. See, I think I think that might actually even shift once the low budgets go to higher budgets. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah. You know, yeah. One would hope. One would hope. The perfect <laughs> way to describe it. One would hope. Yeah. Agree. Awesome. Mm. Awesome. Uh, let me see. Um, beer. Let's talk beer. Do y'all have favorites? Favorite uh, brands yeah. and beers? Yeah. Like, I love Shiner. Um, Shiner for, will forever and always be one of my favorite beers. Mm -hmm. I'm a Texas boy at heart. I know yeah. I, I've been here for 11 years, but that is, that's my beer. Right. You know. Now, I also love lots of other beers. <laughs> Any breweries want to have their beers featured can definitely hit me up. <laughs> that beer on the show, and uh, I'll drink that beer for you. Um, but yeah, just the idea that that um, it's just home, you know. Yeah. Sh Do you drink Lone Star when you go home? Yeah, have yeah. to. I'm not a fan, right? You know, but I have to. I mean, I'd say it's like if you know if if you're it's better than Bud Light. Yeah, yeah. Like it's better than like PBR. Hundred percent. You know. So I don't know. I would, and all of those are available in Texas, and they're not. They are. Really, they are. So. Yeah, no, I feel like uh, Lone Star is like one of those things you got to do when you go home. It's like you got to check yeah. your box, check your box, check your box. Right, like queso, you gotta, Lone gotta get Star. Some, yep, queso, <laughs> margarita, barbecue, mm -hmm. Lone Star. Sure. I like to check out the local beers everywhere I go. Um, I'm like, what's on tap, local beer? Um, and usually they they list like seven, and I'm like, cool, I'll try one of each. Just kidding. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, uh, as many as I can please? get through. <laughs> 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 um, I 
I, and I don't memorize any of them, to be honest. I'm mm. like, I like the third one. That was good. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I travel a lot, so Just I don't whatever's new. have... I like something new. And I, I don't know. Um, every once... I'd say Guinness is not my favorite. I don't really like super dark... Stouties. Stouties. Um, but every once in a while, like Christmas, mm -hmm. it's like an uncle is having it, and I'm like, I'll... Keep up with you, Uncle yeah. <laughs> Alex. Have, have your shout out, Uncle Alex. But <laughs> Uncle Alex. <laughs> your yeah. yearly Guinness at Christmas. Yeah. Nice. But <laughs> what about you? Um, I am not picky with beers. <laughs> well, aside from sours. Sorry, sours. I don't like Yeah, beers. sorry, mm. sours. No, I don't yeah. like them either. My okay. palate is uh, not the best sour palate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I came it's to sour. Marlena's place. <laughs> I'm like, That's, beer shouldn't be sour. The, the first day where I was doing set deck, and uh -huh. we, we sat down, she goes, do you want to, she was like, would you like some water? I was like, sure. Yeah, I'll take some water. And she's like, would you like a beer? And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> she's like I have two I have this one or there's three of those but I don't really like them and, and to be a polite guest I was like I'll take the one you don't really like <laughs> yeah you were so polite about yeah, it yeah and it was like really fruity there yeah. were three it of them and I Golden Road yeah yeah which is it, our lo which is local Los yeah, Angeles. It, yes, it's See? local. It's just so, too fruity though. Like that was mango yeah. cart. Yeah. 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 And that's cart. that's my boyfriend's favorite. He likes the fruity beers. Did I drink your boyfriend's favorite? Years. He but he gets them for free because his buddy works there. Okay, so I feel so less fun. don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Golden Ro Golden Road was one of the beer companies that came mm -hmm. out to sell. Oh, nice. So like um, so many different types with craft mm -hmm. brewers. Most of them are small business, which is why I absolutely love them because it's support and you taste what they're putting into the beer. Golden Road is good. Gold it's Golden one of the good Road's ones. Good. first year's recipes were phenomenal. Mm. And then because they expanded so quickly, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's everything cost, right? Mm -hmm. So in product, everything mm -hmm. else. So Golden Road, I can do a mango cart once in a blue, mm -hmm. um, but I, I pretty much leave Golden Road for the most part. Yeah. But that's just preference. They have one of the only IPAs that I like. They Wolf do have Among, a, Wolf yes. Among Weeds is like a good, it's not too like bitter yeah. and hoppy. Um, but it's like a West Coast style, mm -hmm. and I think that makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely, definitely. And uh, wait, what about you? Yeah, double IPAs. Double straight up. Double IPAs. <laughs> I mean, how many can, of those can you have though? <laughs> oh, Some, so I've, I've decided point. though, like, which is why I, like I drink them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get. I get. Um, uh, I'm a sailor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as long as the beer is in my hand, I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. My dad loves beer, and <laughs> and his thing with IPAs is he's like, why nobody wants to drink IPAs all day long? Like, I want to drink a beer that I can drink all day long. <laughs> there, but there are those. Like, um, one of mine, one of my favorite, which is an IPA. It's called mm -hmm. the All Day IPA. Mm -hmm. uh, Founders makes it. And literally, you could just drink a beer after a beer after a beer, and it's not too hoppy. I think it's a 5.6%. So it's low. Uh, After three of those, you're like, I like IPAs. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Is like, it an IPA? You know? <laughs> you're like, like, what's going on? Where you am could I? You could always tell yeah. the best all-day drinkers because you could have a warm or cold. Oh, no. Ew, what? <laughs> Not warm. You know Disagree. what I mean, warm. Room oh, my temperature. Goodness. <laughs> Room temperature warm, not freezing. Obviously, every cold <laughs> beer is the best beer. But yeah. if you can be out or you're at a festival and you got your cooler and you're doing your thing. Speaking of coolers, Coleman, I love you. This is an amazing <laughs> thing. Um, you can go ahead and just have your beers to do your thing. And I like mm -hmm. I'm a, I love fishing, obviously, Texas. Sure. So, um, but to just be able to sit on the lake all day, your ice melts. And it's like, oh man, I can't drink this because it just—it's not—it's not tasting it. Nope, just dive straight in. I so love you've it. you've been forced to cultivate that taste. Oh yeah, by your fishing oh, yeah. hobby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a real life thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if I, you're not in that situation, then yeah. I, don't know. yeah. I learned recently um, in the UK they have their ales warm, like oh, and that's yeah. normal. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't know that. And I was, I was like ordering the ales and I would be like, this is, this is warm. Right. <laughs> it's like, 
Absolutely like something's upset. wrong with this. As it should be. <laughs> and yeah, and they're like, yeah, it's nail. Like looking at me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, they, what? Did they do that at a, there's a brewery in uh, like the valley somewhere that serves like an English style yeah. um, stout or whatever. Yes. And it's like uh, the wrong temperature. Yeah. But I'm, not, I'm like, all beer can't should argue be with them. It's their beer. <laughs> yeah. I know uh, Lincoln has a small batch. Mm-hmm. So literally what they have is boom, that's what they have. Some of the other spots it's just so interesting the brewing process depending on Mm -hmm. what people like to do and um but i think lincoln is the english is the english ale i think Mm. i don't i don't know i haven't had it lincoln (laughs) you can send beer anywho uh (laughs) um so the podcast initially came up because of beer run the show and we during the pandemic, when uh, after graduating AFI and going straight into it, obviously there were no jobs. So we managed to scrape our pennies together and create a road trip. And we did 21 days. And we went up to Pacific West Coast and hit 13 breweries and a whole bunch of uh, other different activities and drank beer everywhere where, where we did it, which is fantastic. Um, but in, in doing that, I can't wait till we get to Europe. Mm. Like you're gonna do a sequel in Europe? Oh yeah. Well, I would like season <laughs> one to be what it is. Season uh-huh. two is the South. Yeah. Season three is the East Coast. Cut back across to LA and jump on a plane and head to Asia, Ooh. and wow. then go from Asia all the way through into Europe. You need a production designer? Well, well, let's That's talk about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm already on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll fight it out. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. I just want to make sure that you're handled. That's all. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, yeah, there's a, there's a, I don't know, did you call it a nunnery? Um, Yeah. Like with nuns? With nuns, yeah. Yeah, so they've been brewing. Convent, convent, yeah. Yeah, convent. Uh Yeah. Um, it's a nunnery too. That's where they make nuns. They they have. Uh, they make them. I think it's uh, like a brewery, but for nuns. Yeah. <laughs> they come nunnery. out on a, a conveyor belt. Yeah, there's a nunnery <laughs> convent place that brews beer. In uh, is it Holland or is it Belgium? It's one of the two. Sounds and like a Dutch thing. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I think 350 years. They've been brewing beer, yeah. and they make I think it's one beer. But I would love to just go explore. Badass that nuns. Experience. Yeah. Well, like the monks, like medieval monks invented beer, right? Yeah. Did I make that up? No. I no. 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 Well, they, very thin. Yeah. Briar Tuck. I'm I'm sure Briar the I'm sure the nuns girl. figured out, you know, that they could do it better, but then I wonder you know. what that one nun was like. Was like this person a fiend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. just like a scientist, like, look what I did. Yeah. She was like, There's It's fermented. There. It's good for you. <laughs> That's wild. I was, um, and, and God was like, you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, well, you're not letting me do other three, things. Three Hail Marys. <laughs> yeah, I don't get to fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. Cat- Catholics would not allow that. They'd be like, please make all the beer you want. <laughs> I grew up Mormon, so it was like, oh, couldn't yeah. even do the beer. Yeah. It's interesting <laughs> how that, like, kind of the, the religious, like, um, attitudes towards alcohol are like so different. Yeah. Like yeah. within Christianity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. It like so. st- to this day, it still weirds me out that mm-hmm. like monks make beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, religion is like no alcohol. Right. Yeah. Huh. They're like, oh, it's no, a no, be- no, no. beautiful no, no, tradition. No, no. Yeah. This came from the bees. <laughs> the mead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the mead. It's nature. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about the seltzer yet. We have mm. one for part two. And I'm going to check it out, but I really don't know yet. It mm-hmm. just, I don't, I, I don't know why I don't know. I'll check it out. <laughs> I was just Seltzer is like, it's, it's the, it's all the there rage. Remember, Amanda, you remember that, that uh, bar we went to in New York when I visited Yes. You? Oh and my there God. Was like, had, like kombucha. It was like a like, local beer, you know, and I was like, oh, cool. A local, <laughs> local, bo- local brews. And like half of them were seltzers. Yes, and I was like, had, what's the deal? I like This seltzers. is why I love going to New York because I, I'm like. I don't go out a lot in LA, but when I go to New York, that's like all anybody ever wants to do. Yeah. So I catch up on all the trends. <laughs> I do. Cause, cause, I loved having my. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. I was like, "Wow, you guys do that." <laughs> what, I'm gonna tell all my friends in LA about this. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you have there? I have. Oh, it's yes. Trejos, hard salsa. Good old Trejos. Trejos con amor. Yeah. It's made with love. Aww. Made with love. So he's making tacos and hard salsa now. Okay. Yeah, and donuts. 
And donuts. Thanks. Yeah. Oh Thanks, my gosh. Trejo. I would love to have Danny come on the show. And talk <laughs> about cool the beer. Dude. That'd be great. That'd be great. And machete options. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> I'd like to hear his stories. Yeah. For real production. though. Is it good? Yeah. My <laughs> my dad has like a like a Don't weird tell the COVID a, not obsession officer. but an interest in him <laughs> I'm, i've never been big into like learning about celebrities but my <laughs> wow <laughs> but Try my dad it. will be like yeah. you, know, you know trejo <sighs> and they like start telling me things about him yeah and he's got it's a good. fascinating it's life like, it's, it's okay good. i mean I he know. sounds I like an interesting guy you know yeah right <laughs> well when you down it like that well you know I don't think I could do what Jai did. He's like, hamming it you up. Can, you can drink it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want... You got yeah. Options. Options. We already all had COVID. So. Yeah, there oh, we go. Yeah. Oh, no. I <laughs> actually have no idea. Well, there's a new is. flu going around, so... <laughs> Would you like to try? <laughs> I don't really Always, need to. Right? Always. It's Always. winter. Always. Winter. Can you smell it? It's, That's um, it's a salsa. It's really good, though. It smells fruity. Just like it tastes. <laughs> Okay. I like them for like summertime. Flintstones violence. That's when a seltzer is good. Because <laughs> it's fit. light enough. <laughs> That's a great description. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does kind of taste like Flintstones vitamins. Uh, they uh, should put some B7 in this. Whoa. <laughs> options. They got some options. They the moment you said Flintstones vitamins, it's like the aftertaste. It <laughs> is. It is definitely yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, cool. this is kicking in. Okay. <laughs> it's the double IPA. It's always great. It's yeah, always I'm ready to fulfilling. have another shiner. <laughs> I, I think I chose it. the wrong drink. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the lightest of I the think group. We should save these two from this. Oh, yeah. Are you sure you want the this, Peter? The part two. Oh, yeah. We that You have the same thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. Oh, it had a, it had a koozie on it. <laughs> he had it hidden. It's got cold. There it is. Oh my gosh. We need That's koozies. Cute. What? You're from Texas? You didn't offer us koozies? Oh, I, th I thought about it, but <laughs> I wanted to make sure you everyone need, got oh, to see true. everything. Yeah, it really ruins the product. But you need placement. gifts of koozies. <laughs> we got koozies coming in. Oh, they're <laughs> fine. <laughs> anyone need a koozie? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. No, they need to say uh, your beer brand. Beer. Oh, no, they, they do. The beer runs do. But you can go ahead and get those online. Yeah. I had the beer run koozies. Normally, I would have them uh, to give away, but it's time to restock mm. because people like them. Nobody they wants like to that. pay for a but koozie. It kind of looks like this. Well, kind of like this, actually. Koozies That's are great. swag. You know, and then the koozies on it. There you go. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, moving, we're moving things forward with the IP yeah. and everything. And um, so Buffalo 8 currently has beer run for distribution. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right. Discovery, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> when did, uh, options. When uh, did you graduate? Uh, 2019. 19. Okay. Yeah. Cool. A uh, very um, inopportune moment. Yeah. 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 It was like yeah. December 31st, two months late. I'm like, cool, I'm going to go get a job. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is going to be over in a month. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But then that's how this was born. But a oh, lot yeah. of people, after graduating, they're like, now I need uh, some time to figure out what I want to do. Yeah. All right, wait, that's after you finish high school, before <laughs> yeah. you go to college. Yep. Yep. Now you've mm -hmm. already paid for college. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't, I can only imagine, that's I was talking annoying. to some of the students who were attending AFI during mm -hmm. the pandemic. It's like, how do you do such a creative collective mm -hmm. project and uh, all through Zoom? Mm. Ugh. God. You know, Ugh. and AFI was super <laughs> hands on. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. And, and I, ex I explained, I don't know if people, if y'all heard, but like, there's three cycles in your first year, and mm -hmm. then you got your thesis in your second year. So, those three cycles with the amount of students, there's 28 students in uh, writing, directing, producing, and editing. Editing had, and, and oh. production yeah. design have 16 well. or 14. They had 14, but now they're actually going up to uh, 28. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Crazy. They're getting a lot of, they're getting a lot, because I know we only had, we had eight. They got a two-story trailer now. Oh, my they goodness. They deserve it. I know. Editing? <laughs> yeah. I think they're one of the biggest unsung heroes, aside from our department. Mm -hmm. one, of my, one of my girlfriends just, uh, she just started working there, and she asked me if I had anybody that could build a set. <laughs> I hit Nathan up for it. 
You start working at AFI? For free. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. It was a project, and it was like, do you know anybody that can do, like, can do this build? And, like, like, can you do it? And I was like, no. No. (laughs) And then she's like, do you know anyone that can? And I was like, what's the rate? And it was like, well, it's for AFI. And I was like, no. Just grab something from your pocket. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. Had, so, straight up, no. From Craigslist. Yeah. I, have, I had producers, like, go to Home Depot and get Mexicans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For wrapping. Like, to wrap a set. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, shoot. Hey, labor. Yeah. yeah. I know. Labor is labor is labor. <sighs> no, <but laughs> we want I've never budget. seen that happen again since then. That yeah. was a strictly an AFI experience that I will never forget. I will, I will definitely say my most stressful things were AFI. Oh, like yeah. I've have done I produce theater I mm-hmm. produce music videos films everything but AFI's it, it does it does what it's supposed to it mm-hmm. challenges you it makes you think outside the box remember the rattlesnakes oh yeah on that one set yeah I'm, I had to do reshoots on my birthday for my thesis mm. and three rattlesnakes on snake on set oh like on purpose no, no. oh <laughs> no no just in just the just, wild uh, Ag- Aguadose. Oh, yeah. In the sure. middle of June. You guys didn't have a snake uh, handler? Like no. A... They wasn't supposed to be there. They were just in the barn because it was hot. Meanwhile, we had to film in the barn with the kids. Oh, my God. So I have parents. I have the medic. I have the student, the studio teacher. Uh-huh. And, you know, of course, the director and yeah. doing the thing with the DP. Yeah. And I'm just like with a shovel having to get rattlesnakes. Yeah. Oh, my God. To make sure no. that nope. we can shoot. I had to, yeah, I, I did a movie in Idlewild um, and we had, it was a very low budget movie and like, but we had a, basically like the local guy who mm-hmm. was like our local liaison. He was basically everything for Idlewild. He like did all the security, like you didn't call the cops, you called him. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't call an ambulance, you called this guy. Hit and like, guy. and so he would like, um, he would clear the area of snakes for us. Yeah. And that was, and he put him in like a shop vac. Yep. <laughs> like, you know, it's got a lid. The no, he wasn't vacuuming. He was like picking them up because it has a lid on it, you know, and yep. you can lock it. Yeah, yeah. And he just put them all in a bu- fucking bucket of snakes. Wow. Yeah. And there was, so and we then, were scouting and there was like a barn and they were like, oh, should we shoot inside the barn? And I was like, no, you shouldn't. I don't even have to like go in there to know that there's snakes in that barn. Yep. <laughs> and the barn we shot at was built in 1796. It was like, oh. Yeah. Really? Oh. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's yeah. why it looked like that. Huh. And then, of course, my director. I love mm-hmm. AFI directors. <laughs> I have to have this one. I have to have this it barn. Must this be is the barn. barn. It must be this it one. It must be this barn. And I was like, yeah, yep, 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 yep. We get that. We'll get that barn. We'll get mm-hmm. that barn. Sure. Uh, maybe I should have just gone to school and been an AFI director. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> This is the, I can't pronounce that. Well, there's different kinds of education. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's not that no. hard. Rue <laughs> Keller. Just look. There's education on the street. Rue Keller Dunkel. Yeah. I don't think he has that either. It's okay. Bavarian. <laughs> Where's it from? Uh, the brewery. Yes, it is. The brewery. It's quite tasty. It's quite tasty. I like uh, German style. Yeah. yeah. Dun- what is it? Dunkel Dunkelweiss? Dunkelweiss is basically it's a Weiss beer. Cool. See how you like it. In the sound bites. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's a bit yeah. much. Okay. <laughs> I keep wanting to like burp into the mic too. Are oh no, no, no! Let it loose. Is Let that it loose. What that one does. Let it shoot. I, it just I've been like leaning away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk oh. over here. <laughs> that's fun. Before we wrap up here, I would love to know just uh, some just. Anyone walking in your footsteps, you know, if you got some words of advice or something you can share with these other beer drinkers, like what would be oh, beer drinkers or, you know, people doing art and drinking beer, beer drinking advice. Yeah. Beer drinking advice or art advice or hydrate or life advice. <laughs> I always yeah, say hydrate. keep hydrated. <laughs> French fries are your best friend. Mm-hmm. I'd like to hear yours first. <laughs> um, well, always have a koozie. Always have a koozie. Um, to keep your sure. hands from getting too cold. Especially if you're working yeah. outside long hours. Yeah. Especially if you're Even trying if to it's drink a on the job. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, in that case, just hide it in a coffee cup. 
Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 That was the job. That doesn't that, always keep your product placement beer cold yeah. in the prop truck. Yeah. Because you never know when you're going to need to bribe someone. It's true. Um, you never know like which department on set you're going to have to, you know, ask Hundred, something crazy take care of. of and, you know, and if it's cold and they can just drink it there on the tailgate. Boom. One and done. Yep. Boom. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's super important to not have, uh, actually super important to have good coffee cups. Let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. But uh, definitely, any, any anything like uh, people following your footsteps. Um. Well. Good luck. Good luck. I don't know. I mean, does it even matter what I say? I mean, <laughs> of might, course. You never know who who's listening. I, I don't know. I feel like I would have wouldn't have listened to my advice. Yeah. I would have just. I don't know. Live your live your best. I, I guess I was I was saying to 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 Nathan. Um, just in passing one time, like, cause we've been going on about, uh, different sign making techniques and stuff. And I was like, you know, I wish that I had just like interned at a sign shop for like a year, just so that I knew like what to say to those people. Yeah. Like what to <laughs> ask for, like, cause you know, you eventually signs. you find the yeah. signs, eventually you find a vendor yeah. that's like, no, 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 you want to do it. Like, you know, you find somebody that you can like, you can um, ask for their advice and stuff yeah. and they know what you're trying to do and you know you can just um learn from that way yeah. but it would have been nice to just know you know a lot earlier like what Sintra was and like gotcha. you know what are the different types of of pvc and um foam board and like which would be best for what applications and yeah um you know because there's so many options 100 percent. so are we talking about this job because uh, yeah, let's talk about this job. The signs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a hospital set. It was completely empty. I we saw had a dress. A sign. A completely and empty. I wanted to blow like, my head off. An abandoned um, mental institution. Yeah. Oh, and th with the director that said, it must be this hospital. Yeah. Oh, yes, of yes. Abandoned. And you were like, could it, could it instead be a dressed hospital? Like, because those are around. Yep. And they, mm -hmm. you know, would be a lot, meaning reasons, yep. obviously. Um, but no, it must be this hospital. And Amanda had to like <laughs> find, fi first figure out like what to put in the hospital, and then and then, you know, just make there's just make all the choices, well, which just took a whole week just to like choose the things that no. go in the hospital. We have we have three <laughs> patient rooms. We have an IC, and then we had a NICU and a nursery and a yeah, real nursery, a, a nursery, uh, and like four hallways. Yeah, four hallways, and then like a nursery station. I don't know. I I don't want to list off all the rooms. There are a lot of rooms, um, and <laughs> but then there's the hallways, which. I feel like are like the afterthought. They just need signs, mm -hmm. just so yeah. some signs in the hallways yeah. and like um, crash carts and stuff like that should be an afterthought. But like, of course, the hallways are like mm -hmm. the most important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing there. So we're just like, I don't know, just yeah. get all of the signs. Um, so we rented a bunch. So we, I, I was like, okay, the, the fastest thing, because I was so focused on the rooms and trying to get the curtains right and the bed right and the bed sheets and the, mm -hmm. and the whatever, all the things. Um, the hallway signs that I rented are so heavy. <laughs> like, such a pain in the ass to put up. And They're like but legit. Like, also, yeah. we're on a budget. Like, so I'm like, oh, are we going to print a whole bunch yeah. of like, <laughs> are we going to hire a graphic designer to like make these make signs? These signs yeah. Yes, obviously. Yeah, graphics department. Obviously, but we hired graphic a graphic designer. designer is Marlena. Um, and Obviously, we hired a professional to do that for us. <laughs> and we put it, and she find yeah. So anyways, it's it was just annoying. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so we, we so made some and we rented some. And the ones that we rented, like, had to be properly mounted to, like, you know, old ass plaster And of course, walls. the place, the place, oh, no, they were concrete walls. Some of them oh, were no. concrete. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> so um, the, ta- the takeaway so, you know, is make sure you know about I was suns. Like, I'm a pain in the ass. I should have figured this out it's, later. You know, earlier. But, but that's the thing about art department is there's always something that you're like, oh, yeah, and then there's that, and we'll just yeah, deal with yeah. that. But then that thing ends up being like your worst nightmare. I put the, yeah. the signage like, on the last of my to-do list. <laughs> I, it was like the last <clears throat> on my to-do list, but I guess it mm-hmm. was it was super important. But it was like, can't someone else just deal with the signs? Can't there just be a sign person? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm I'm dealing with so much stuff. Can't someone else deal? Well, also nothing made sense. Like the arrows. Mm-hmm. Like you need someone that's like it's just, it's just to make it look legit. I recently yeah. did a commercial based in a hospital scene, mm-hmm. and I was wondering because there was like the entryway before the emergency room, and I'm like, oh, I, I I've been to hospitals, mm-hmm. and I have like a generic idea of they're just being like random paintings, maybe. Mm-hmm. So it's like hospital you. Art. I, one of the things I do enjoy doing is like just researching. Yeah, I'm like I don't actually know about this set. Let's look right. it up. <laughs> yeah, totally. We but did then, research. <laughs> yeah, but then sometimes the hospitals are blank as hell. Mm-hmm. Sorry, can I say that? I don't. Know. What? <laughs> of course, I, I, have, no. I have personally, unfortunately, <clears throat> spent a lot of time in hospitals. So yeah. it's like low key traumatic for me to oh, have no. to like design a trap. <laughs> oh, no. I like I like just don't want to spend Shen. any more time in hospitals. If it wasn't I spent no it signs, is no now. hospital. It's not a fun set to do. It's not no, fun. No, it's annoying. It's like so, it's, it's so white fun. walls. It's not pretty. You know, Filmmakers like, out there just understand this. This is your crew. They feel things. No one wants to be in a hospital. <laughs> Yeah, we have feelings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going we're to have to wrap this up. I want uh, any shout outs where people can reach you if they need to hire you, um, gigs, stuff like that. Bam, where to find your stuff. They want to check it out. I'm sure we've all got websites. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. What are those? Oh, MarsFury.com. Bam, MarsFury.com. Yeah, try to um, spell that. <laughs> uh, F R no. E. No. Well, it starts with Mars. F. E E H E R Y. There we go. It's Irish. There you go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, SarahKateLarson.com. Cool. Start with an H and E N. There we go. Visuals. We got that's two. Yeah. Oh. Um, Amanda Dupre. Dupre.com. So All right. Dupre, Dupre is D E P R E Z. I dig it. I dig it. And uh, y'all have IGs that they could go ahead and. Oh, yeah. Mine's an unpronounceable Dutch word. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's going to be great. We're, we're going through spell marketing it. lessons here. <laughs> you can't spell it, but it's it's there. It's unpronounceable. You can spell it Z O E. Z O E. T H O U T. T H O U T. With an underscore. It's a flavor of tea that I found in when I was studying abroad in Paris. And now I went to. Um, I feel like I missed so much. No, I. I <laughs> It's Zutau. I think it's um, like a, some kind of spice. Yeah. Yeah. Aniseed. Yeah. Huh. Fennel. IG? That was yeah. it. It's fennel. Yeah. Mine is just my name. That's it. It's <laughs> private, though. There I got to go. accept you. There oh, you go. fancy. Uh, Zaz Arts, Z A Z Z Arts with a Z, because the other one was taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fine, I'll be cheesy. Awesome. Um, yeah, uh, I do all forms of art department too. BTW. Hey, hey. Looking hey. for work. Hi, well, coolest thing. Hi, me. Like I said, this is a, this is the first live. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking in. Um, you could go ahead and check out beerrun.com, Beer Run the Show on IG. You could add us on Facebook, YouTube. You could catch Beer with Friends. You could also catch us on Spotify, Beer with Friends with Jai Pellerin. Uh, So thank you, ladies, for coming on. We have part two coming up. Uh, So I don't know where my battery is with the live, so we're going to say adios with you guys. But we're going to play this little music out. Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Jai. I am here talking specifically with you. Why? Why? Because you need to have another beer. That's what we're doing when we're doing beer with friends. (laughs) So be sure you follow. Be sure you subscribe. Be sure you like. Check out 
everything we got going on. We have nothing but merch. You can find us on Spotify. You can find us on Apple Podcasts. You can find us on YouTube. Go ahead and uh, come on through and have a brew. Options. <laughs>